Hey guys, my name is Laura. I'm one of the nurses from the NHS and today I will be talking about my experience transitioning from my country to the UK. As you can see from my accent, I'm not English. I'm from Spain. I never did any Erasmus or anything like that in my life, so I was all my life living, studying and working in Spain. I studied my nursing degree in my hometown, Zaragoza, and after working in Spain for one year as a nurse, I moved to London to start my nursing dream job. But as you can imagine, it wasn't a smooth transition. <laughs> so in this video, I will mention four curious facts about working in a British hospital and four tips to be ready for them. This video will not only help you to know what to expect when working in a British hospital, but also to be prepared. And for the UK nurses that are watching this video, this is for you to be aware that working in a British hospital is quite different from anywhere else, but in a cool way, as you will see. My first main shock was the language barrier. As all the Spanish people, when we learn a couple of years of English, we think we actually know how to speak in English, but nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> when I arrived to London, I literally understood about 30% of what my colleagues were telling me. And I just can't imagine for people that is arriving now how hard it is for them. Because understanding with masks on is just something else, so difficult. <laughs> I remember that as soon as I was getting used to a couple of people, like used to their accents and more or less I understood what they were saying, if suddenly someone from Ireland or Scotland tried to talk to me, I felt completely offside. <laughs> but as everything, learning English was a matter of time and practice. My first tip if you move to another country as a nurse is to try to blend yourself with national people as much as possible. Of course, for me, it was easier to speak with my Spanish friends, so I wasn't forcing myself to understand and in constant alert, but that was something that actually helped me so much. Although I should mention that my friends were very patient with me. <laughs> the second thing that was such a shock for me was the length of the shifts. In Spain, nurses, we work shifts in the morning, evening or night. There are three shifts a day, no just two. Nurses in Spain get to work up to seven days in a row with short shifts. Long days in Spain just exist in a few hospitals. It's like when you start your degree and you do internships just nine to five and then you jump straight to 12 hour shifts. You really learn the hard way how to manage your time because those four hours when you are not used to work them, they are really heavy on you. So when I was going home after my long shift, I used to like visualize in my head what I was doing on the shift, like how it was structured. So the next day I was able to write down the most important things to do in the day and I knew more or less by what time it should be done. So my tip for this fact is to learn how to manage properly your time before moving here. Learn how to plan ahead as UK nurses are great at it. <laughs> Nowadays, I actually prefer 12 hour shifts rather than short shifts. I think it's better for the patients due to the continuity of care and also for the nurses as I feel I'm less in the hospital because I have more days off. Another fact that just happens here is the cup of tea tradition. Offering things in English looks to be essential whenever you want to be polite and the star offer is the cup of tea. But actually, this magic cup appears to improve the way someone is feeling. It may sound like an old-fashioned way of solving problems. Like, you've lost your job, tell me about it over a cup of tea. You had a big argument with your boss, let's sit down and discuss it over a cup of tea. But actually, for a patient in the hospital, it makes such a change to offer a cup of tea. I remember once working in the elderly care ward. I went on the way where four old ladies were a bit bored. I offered them a cup of tea to the ladies. And I remember when I gave them the cup of tea with a biscuit, honestly, their faces changed like day and night. 
and they started to talk to each other and honestly that was more useful than the medication that definitely doesn't happen in spain the tea doesn't have the same effect <laughs> my tip here is to learn as much as possible about the british culture because simple things like the cup of tea can be your secret weapon to deal with some British patients when they are upset. Something else that is a bit curious for an outsider is the term sister for nurses. It occurred to me that in the UK, sister is another term for nurse. I thought everyone was very friendly calling me sister instead of nurse when actually everyone was calling me nurse with another word. So if you are an English nurse watching this video, yes, don't be surprised when a foreigner nurse asks you the same question. Why people call me sister? <laughs> the term sister was used to designate a nurse, originally Catholic nuns, who was in charge of the wars. That's why the nurses were gradually represented using the term sister over a period of time and came into existence of daily life. But what about male nurse? Would he be called brother, a sister, or a nurse? <laughs> I just call them by their name just in case, because if we translate this into my language, actually, it happens that nuns are called sisters, but as siblings, but not the nurses. This is a very specific term for the English nurses world. So my last tip is to not work in the UK if you don't want a super large family. These four facts are just a small taste of the British nurses world that obviously is huge and quite interesting. I learned a lot when I moved here and I started working. I learned about the British culture and also about nursing, obviously. So I encourage everyone to try nursing in the UK as nursing is already such a rewarding career. In the UK is more in writing than anywhere else. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you find these facts curious too. <laughs>